let's kick it off here with a film that I saw that Alan did not called Speak No Evil. It stars James McAvoy, uh, Mackenzie Davis, Scoop McNary, Aisling Francio C. I can't, I don't think, I don't know if I pronounced that correctly, but um, two couples are on vacation and meet. One couple has a young daughter. Uh, it's uh, Ben and Louise. They have a daughter played by Scoop McNary, Mackenzie Davis. They're kind of, they're a little, you know, they're a little low key, but um, they witness another couple, Patty and Sierra, played by James McAvoy, Aisling, Franciosi, and they are boisterous, having fun and laughing and liking to drink. And just, they, they're living life to the fullest. So the two couples have kind of opposite energy. One more low key, conservative, you know, more, you know, just, have a good time whatever the other couple just like yeah let's party well their energy kind of matches and they have a good time on this on this retreat and so uh james mcvoy's character says hey if you want to visit come to the farmhouse visit us we'll have a good time you're welcome to stay out in the countryside so on a whim they decide to go visit the two couples um decide to, to uh spend time together at the farmhouse. So things start to be, get a little strange. Boundaries are crossed. Things are a little weird, but nothing that crosses the line too far, but it escalates and escalates. And I'll tell you the, the big appeal of this movie is James McVoy's performance as Patty. He is unhinged. He's he's really he looks jacked too in this film. I mean, he is he is unlike any kind of character he's played in the past. And the slow burn escalation of you know Mackenzie Davis and Scoop and Neri characters, they they're like, oh well, that was weird, but no big deal. That was weird, but no big deal. And then continues to get more and more unhinged and strange. They have um uh, James McVoy's character has a young son named Ant, played by Dan Ho, who um, can't speak. He's got a problem with his tongue, and th they sort of blame it on uh, some genetic genetic defect. But he might have had his tongue cut out. And as this, I, I, I'm not. I'm being very coy about specifics because you don't want spoilers for for this thing. It things take a turn in the middle of, of the film where you just it's insane. This reminds me of other thrillers like Straw Dogs. And this movie is a remake of a Danish film from like two years ago, which I have not seen Speak No Evil, but I believe it's on Hulu. That's the, the Danish version. But I the audience I saw this with was white knuckle edge of your seat thriller um devolving into horror by the end and you just can't I, again i'm telling you almost nothing if you've seen the trailer don't see any more you know if you've seen the trailer and the, the great thing is I, i've seen that trailer so many times now you will never have to see it again in front of a movie i really love this film um it's got 89% on Rotten Tomatoes. Uh, I I think it's just a really satisfying thriller. The, the dynamic that I think really works in this is Scoot McNary's character, Ben, he's a weak man. And Mackenzie Davis as Louise, she's like, she's not a girl boss or anything, but she calls her husband out on saying, you're weak. You're weak. What are you doing? You got to step up. This is our family. You have to protect our family. And so... Um, he's kind of cucked by her in a sense, but uh, that dynamic works. It's so it's it's just it's but it does um, it does really explore this when you have a weak man in the family, and he's not there when needed. It causes problems. Uh, so great thriller. I think you would like it, Alan, as well. It's not a horror film per se, but some of some. It's an intense thriller. That's what I'm getting. Very intense thriller. 
very intense. And the, the, the standout for this is James McAvoy. My God, he's so good in this. So, and uh, God, the audience was just like, you could feel the tension. It's also not over two hours. You know, it's under, it's like hour 40 or something. So tight, great suspense, suspense thriller. You will have a really good time and uh, awesome. So I enjoyed it and I recommend it, you know, seven and a half or eight out of 10 for me. So yeah, not your favorite, out. not your favorite of the year. Not favorite of the year. Just a solid look. This is it, it's, it's well, it's, it's a remake of a Danish film, but in theaters, it's not like part of a franchise. It's not a sequel. It's just a solid, good movie, not a huge budget. You know, it's, it's in the spirit of like straw dogs, you know, a thriller out in the English countryside. Things go awry and, uh, Certain reveals are just so you're like, oh my god, oh my god. You're just saying you know what's coming. It's like the suspense is like winding up to get to this place and uh great payoffs too. So I recommend it. Really good time at the movies. Just I will say the uh the trailers are effective, uh to the point where I do not want to see this movie. No, <laughs> you will you would like it a lot. Would I? All right, yes. You would like it a lot. Uh, so I recommend oh, it. Man, those trailers are so good. <laughs> yeah, really good. So um, go see it. 